and welcome to vlogmas day 15. It's Friday. I am going to try a new foundation that I received today. Well, it's not really a foundation. It's Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, but it's the Natural Matte Tinted Moisturiser. I sent the shade Opal 01, which is my shade, the palest one. But yeah, I love the original one. I find it's really natural looking, quite dewy. Let's give it a go. Oh, that has reminded me. You know, one thing I have that has been on my to-do list all year, and I still haven't done it, is wash my makeup brushes. I'm not still using the same ones. I'm lucky that I just have a lot of makeup brushes. So I've got like the biggest pile over there I need to wash at some point. That might be a good in-between job for of Christmas and New Year, like that, that space in between give this a go this is before god i just have a, a spot that always comes up in the same place on my chin it's so weird i've actually been trying a new like serum out and i think that might be what's causing this on the rest of my face it seems fine but my chin just doesn't like skincare <laughs> if i put anything on it it's like nope gonna react to that put it directly on yeah i've got a lot of redness my rosacea is rosacea ring hmm well, I don't even think I'd be able to tell that I was wearing makeup with that. In real life, it looks a lot more just even than that side. Maybe you can see better here. Hmm, I quite like that. It's very, very sheer. So if you want fuller coverage, this might not be for you. But actually saying that, if I was to go over this with my Bare Minerals powder foundation it would give way more coverage for a powder this is such nice coverage and such a nice texture like it feels really light on the skin but gives so like the proper airbrushes it before after i like that i like how natural it's looking i'm going to do the other side now i'm watching lucy moon's vlog whilst i do my makeup today finished makeup look what am i doing i'm gonna put some dry shampoo in then i'm gonna make <laughs> another cup of tea and then you know what i think i need to do i need to wrap some prezzies because we are going for lunch tomorrow with my friend and her family and i got a little present for her son and i'm gonna show you what i got them also and i need to wrap another prezzy for my other friend's son as well so yeah i'm gonna wrap some prezzies and then i can carry on with work i need to edit yesterday's video isn't that right my wins you were such a handsome boy oh my god guys the worst thing happened yesterday i did something yesterday and i i feel so awful about it i wasn't going to talk about it but maybe someone has had the same problem as me i'm like the worst cat mum ever so basically maurice was laying on the sofa next to me and we were having just a little stroke. And then um, I was he was like this. Well, no, actually, he was more on his back like that. And I was stroking him like this. And then I felt something there. And then I had a... I was like, what is that? And so I, like, opened his fur. And I found, like, it was like a spot. And I was like, either that's a spot or a tick. I was, like, freaking out that he had ticks. So I was, like, picking it. And then I realised there was another one. <laughs> And then I googled it and realised that he has nipples. And I was trying to pick his nipples off. <laughs> I feel awful. He was fine. Like, he was literally on his back, wasn't moving, didn't care, super chilled. I just did not know that male cats had nipples, but of course they do. That makes total sense. Men have nipples. How bad is that? I shouldn't be talking about this online, should I? Because that's just... I shouldn't be admitting to that, that I nearly tried to pick my cat's nipples off. So that's how my night went last night. It is a good thing you are such a good boy. You literally didn't care, did you? The best boy in the world. I might just edit all of that bit out. Bless him, G's hanging. Hang in. So I've just made him a plate full of hash browns. And um, I made one for myself as well. With my egg muffins that I made the other day and a cup of tea. Okay, so for my friend's baby, I got him. This is just the cutest thing ever. It's a little sensory book from the brand Jelly Cat. I freaking love the brand Jelly Cat. I think it's the cutest thing. And it's a little book about being an avocado. And this might be slightly too young for him, but I feel like she's going to appreciate it because she loves avocados. Pop-up bits and 
yes yeah very very cute and sensory and it sounds really nice as well so I got him that and then I also got him this for his bedroom which I I want one of these it's the cutest thing ever <laughs> it's a little succulent toy that will just sit I don't know sit on a shelf or in a windowsill I just think that's so cute I just yeah this brand is the cutest brand they've got so many little toys that I was looking at and I was like I want that so I thought that was a kind of cute little gift and then for my other friend's boy who we're actually seeing tomorrow what did I order <laughs> so it's a little camera I think he's like the perfect age now to start using a camera and I'm just so excited to buy Genie a camera so I thought I'd buy my friend's boy Felix one and it's like a Lego camera so you can like he can decorate the front of it with like little dinosaur I think you can also like play games on this so cute I might charge it up for them actually might charge it up for them now so that it's all ready to go when we see him yeah it comes with all these little little bits of lego so he can like decorate the back of his camera also wanted to show you something that i bought genie <laughs> from the same brand becky if you're watching this because i know you watch it in the living room vlogmas can you like skip ahead or don't show genie this like make sure she's out of the room because this is for her oh my god this is just the cutest thing ever genie's obsessed with cats probably because of maurice and um i got her this book which is called kitten tales and it's just <laughs> It's got loads of really cute little cats and their tails sticking out of it. I just thought it was the cutest. Look at that really white fluffy one. Um, yeah, the cutest. Again, quite sensory toy. But Jeannie's got such a good sense of humour. I just thought she would crack up at this. Just really enjoy it. So I'm excited to wrap this up for her. This can only mean one thing. We've got the craft box out. <laughs> Maurice is demonstrating where the craft box lives. I really need to sort these cupboards out. They're just jam-packed full of stuff. I love this box. It's full of all my crafty bits. I feel like I actually haven't been in here in a while. I don't think I got it out last year. I've got some like little stamps which are really fun for decorating. Kind of plain craft paper Christmas wrapping. Got some pens, ribbony bits, gift tags all the like christmas decoration stuff basically so i like to like decorate some gifts this year with these little things oh this is like my ultimate gift christmas wrapping hack need to get one of these it's like a knuckle duster but for sellotape so you can like wrap and like pull the tape off as you're wrapping it's absolutely genius i need to get some extra tape to fill in that i've got like extra ink pad dug out two wrapping papers as well this one with astronomical star constellations on it and this stag one as well these are either from sainsbury's i think actually these might both be from sainsbury's last year being as we're in my arts and crafts cupboard and being as it's the start of a new year and being as <laughs> i've been using the same notebook for i think about three years let's have a look so i've got two notebooks on the go the first is quite dirty it's my bullet journal who remembers when bullet journals were a thing i think that will tell you how long i've been using this so i started this 2016 i started this because we've got 2017 halfway through oh my god i used to be so organized can you see that let's have a look at this okay so this was at the start of the year 2017 where i had to cancel my wedding because i just broken up with my ex um but i used to write like a list everything i had to do that week work brainstorm and then like a gratitude log where every day i would write down two things that i that made me happy that day and yeah i i did this for so long can you see how organized i was a master list and then every day i'd write out my individual tasks for that day as you can see now it is not like that at all i did love using that bullet journal though i really love writing on paper that doesn't have any lines in it lines feel like i feel very constricted by lined notebooks so i much prefer plain and then this notebook is my moleskin and how long have i been using this now oh my god i love a moleskin 2019 so what is that four coming up to four years yeah and this is what i've kind of been using since just to write everything and plan everything and 
brainstorm. The reason this has lasted me so long is because I've been using my notes app on my like phone and laptop so much more to like plan my days and write my to-do lists out. I just find it's easier because then I don't have to carry a notebook around. Because I've had these for so long and like I've only got a couple of blank pages left, like the majority of it is all used on both of these. I think it's time we start a new notebook, basically. It was a really waffly way of saying I'm gonna start a new notebook. I don't need to buy one because I'm a hoarder and I love stationery, freaking love stationery. I've got this in my cupboard, my arts and crafts cupboard. And this is full of notebooks that I love but I haven't used yet. So yeah, I feel like I can shop my own notebook selection. I've already got this one, which is a moleskin. It's dotted like the bullet journal. I'm not really a fan of a hardback notebook. I much prefer like a, a bendy one because um, it's easier to carry around. So I might, I could start that one. What else have we got? I can't even remember, it's been so long. I'm pretty sure this one is actually from uni. London College of Communication, they had like a uh, stationery store and I stocked up on books before I left just because they were such great value in there. And it's got my uni on it. What else have we got that I could use? Oh my god, I love these so much. I really love getting journals and like notebooks from HomeSense or like TK Maxx. They always have such a great selection. So I think this is one from there. It's lined though. But like, when am I ever going to get around to using all of these? I want, I want to use all these. So maybe 2024 will be a year where I start, I start writing physically again. This one's so cool because the paper changes colour. Muji, another brand I absolutely love for stationery. Beautiful stationery, beautiful pens. Mu Muji pens are the best. Oh my god, and then this one from Paper Chase. This was like my diary for so long. I think I purchased a couple of backups because I love the feel of it so much, like bendy paper with the little string on it, which makes it just feel so sophisticated. I've got a couple of happiness planners as well, but I don't really tend to use these. I really like the idea of these because it like helps you plan and like look back and think about the changes you wanna make. And then every day it's like, today I'm excited about this. What exercise am I gonna do? What's my main focus? What am I gonna eat? Good things about today, notes, what I'm grateful for. So it kind of, oh God, can you even see me? It's a nice way to kind of plan your day, but also think about the happiness and the little things that make you coffee in there i've got a stress less one. Oh wow this is kind of cool mood tracker in it i don't know if you can see that so you can like track your mood weekly reflection page how did you feel this week why is that what can you do to improve your mood i've got a lot of beautiful notebooks so yeah i'm gonna keep one of these out can you tell i'm obsessed with maps literally maps used to be my jam not so much anymore. Oh my god, these are all so beautiful. And then I've got like this, which I think I've had since like 2009. An ex bought me this and I never used it because, I don't know, it's quite dramatic, isn't it? But he wrote a note in the front saying, da da da, safe space for your thoughts. A reminder that life tastes sweet as long as you want it to. Haven't used that yet. Oh, I've got a bunch of uh, moleskin, I love moleskin notebooks. These are a set of three plain journals and they're kind of small so these might be kind of good. I could have one for like video ideas, one for meal planning, meal prep. Sitting on the floor and doing bending over wrapping and bending over notebooks has done my back in again so I think I'm gonna have to go down and sit on a actual work chair now. Also just a note on Smithson notebooks. I have a Smithson one. Um, when I left my job at Gleam, they bought me the most beautiful Smithson notebook. The paper, I've actually still got that as well. I don't like to chuck notebooks away because they're full of memories. The paper in these books is so beautiful because the pages are so thin. They're just so nice to write on. And I've got a couple of Smithson kind of minis that I've been gifted. One that says sunny side up. I think this was a gift from Juliet has a gun and one I'm not sure where this one's from actually but it says make it happen on it. Again this is a really lovely gift. Like it's making me wish that I bought all my friends stationery for Christmas this year. Who doesn't love stationery? Okay one last thing. <laughs> I've just found this one and again another moleskin. This was my headache diary when I had a headache every single day I was told to keep a headache diary. Can you believe this? I ended up going to a neurologist who absolutely fobbed me off and was like, you need to drink more water. And I was like, I'm drinking loads of water, it's not that. Listen to this. Wednesday 19th of October, 11.15, a small headache on left side of head. At work, I'd eaten Special K and water before. <laughs> 
1.20 p.m. Headache getting worse, more prominent. Frequent poundings, 8 out of 10. Lunch, I had sandwich, crisps and water. 10.30 p.m. Still have a headache, comes and goes in waves. Haven't taken any paracetamol, had one cup of tea at 5 p.m. Thursday 20th, headache all day, didn't take pills. Saturday 21st, headache started at 11 p.m. Had one decaf tea at 7 p.m. at McDonald's for dinner because I cooked a nine hour shift. Sunday 22nd, at work, 12 to four, got a headache at 11 p.m., pressure behind my eyes. Literally, I had a headache every day. This notebook, this this goes on for a long time. All these headaches, and this man just fobbed me off. And then, <laughs> summary so far for six months. October, 11 headaches. November, 13 headaches. December, seven headaches. January, three headaches. So they started just going down naturally. I'm not sure what that was about. But um, very interesting to look back at. Oh my god, also in this, when my friends came over, I vlogged this, you can watch this back, I'll leave a link up here. My friends came around to help me declutter my wardrobe and we wrote a list of everything I had and then what we were going to cut it down to. So I had, I had five white lacy tops, I had to get it down to three. 17 skirts, I got it down to five. Blue jeans, I had seven, I got it down to three. 11 plain black t-shirts. I got it down to four like they helped me declutter my entire wardrobe and I ended up getting rid of like three quarters of my wardrobe it was such a fun day day dresses I had 32 and I got it down to eight colored tops I had 21 and I got it down to five I had 39 jumpers and I got it down to eight they really helped this is why I like keeping notebooks because they're quite funny to look back on I also found um my old like teenage diaries recently which uh, whenever i read back i start to feel really depressed so i don't like to do it too often but it just brings up back so many memories of that time when i was like a teenage girl and, and just not living my best life and um, i do want to do a video at some point where i read some of my old diary out um because i thought it might be entertaining and quite quite funny but also might bring up some topics about uh, consent and confidence and friendships um that might be quite interesting to chat about so when we were in paris i went to i did that day where i just went to loads of charity shops or like no i keep saying charity shops they're not they're like thrift stores like vintage stores and i still haven't shown you guys what i purchased because all of it needed wash like really badly and some of the materials I wasn't, like I've been hesitant to put in the washing machine so I haven't been able to wear anything. Um, I need to really just send stuff off to the dry cleaner. Maurice. And the, but I did a delicates wash last night and put this jumper into it. Um, and this is one of the things that I got. So I actually shouldn't have because I literally just looked at the label and it says dry clean only professional dry clean only but it seemed to have survived it's like 80 percent wool quite a garish but so comfortable um cute little like frumpy cardigan with this embroidered floral pattern it has these really cool buttons down it yeah i was so happy with this purchase i think i paid like five euros for it which is quite good value i think so yeah very happy with that purchase gonna do me well this winter i think Try and work out how I can go to the shop but without taking my wearable blanket off and it's good <laughs> it's not working. Tuck it up and then like roll. But then I just <laughs> looks a bit weird. Whoa, all well, the lights are from the tree are looking quite fancy. Right, I'm just gonna try and tuck it in my trousers, but my trousers are quite tight around the waistband. <laughs> so there's not much there's not much stretch that I have to do. I've eaten so many butter beans, cannelli beans, beans this week that I am so bloated. I'm I'm in so much pain right now. Oh. And I'm also wondering if I've got some sort of kidney infection because I've got such a bad lower back ache. And it doesn't feel like a muscular one, it feels like a stitch, but constant, it's so painful. I bet you get 20 different diagnoses from this yeah. You're all gonna think that. I'm a hypochondriac. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, there. 